Alexa Grasso versus Vivian Araja, the main event of UFC Fight Night, Las Vegas 62. And I'm going to actually go with um, Alexa Grasso on this one. Um, upon looking at both fighters and studying both of their fights, it's going to be a strike and battle, as we both know. There's going to be some attempt for grappling, um, I think mainly from uh, Araja in this fight. And I think Grasso will do enough to um, have her own uh, good submission attempts off the back and find her way up on the feet. And I think over the course of five rounds, I think uh, Alexa Grasso is going to piece up, outwork, and outstrike Vivian Arajo. We've seen Arajo in a lot of her fights. is very effective and dangerous in the first couple of rounds. So as long as Grasso can survive that, she should be able to uh, then take the rest of the fight as Arajo notably tires and gasses out <clears throat> at, um, at the end of the second round. Um, and really starts to crumble uh, because of the exhaustion and because of her tired that you see in her body language and so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, and, and it's only for that reason. I mean, if Arajo was able to keep that consistency, um, I'd give her more of a, a chance and probably have a win in this fight because she is very dangerous um, and has a lot of power in her strides. Another observation from looking at Vivian Arajo is that she doesn't really like getting hit. You hit her and she's a little bit chinny, number one. And number two, she kind of can't handle the pressure of being hit. So you see that in a lot of her fights. Like with Roxanne Modafferi, she did have no danger coming back towards her. So she she showed her tiredness in the third round, but for the most part, was very comfortable at beating up uh, an, an unable striker in Roxanne Modafferi. And then you see other fights like, I think the Jessica I fight. Uh, Jessica I started landing some big shots on her. And as uh, Arajo got tired, again, she just like, sort of withered away uh, and lost that fight on point. Yeah, and Chikagian as well. Um, another loss that Roger has, and it was due to the output, and that someone is, you know, going to stand with her and sort of strike with her. Despite the power difference, obviously, could Chikagian not having any power due to her volume, her movement, and just sort of her will? She sort of managed to beat uh, Roger. And I think that's the difference here. <clears throat> Regardless of Roger being dangerous and powerful and everything, Grasso, I think, has that will in her as well. She's, she conserves her, her energy. She fights very calculated. Is technically good. And we see, like, in the fight with against um, Carla Esparza, yeah, um, the last round of that fight, she really started pouring it on. And it showed she can, she could have gone strong into a round four and five, whereas Araja doesn't show that. And for all those reasons, Grasso should win this fight quite comfortably as long as she can survive the first early attack on onslaught from uh, Vivian Araja. Uh, there are a few things like I see Cross a little bit uh, vulnerable to the left hook. She gets caught with that, and that I think Yi Jung Kim, excuse me, the pronunciation for that. But when she fought that fight, she got caught a lot of times with the left hook. Um, and against um, Carla Esparza as well, the left hook was landing. Um, so that's the only thing she really needs to watch out for. And as long as she's able to survive that, she should win comfortably. Uh, so going with um, Alexa Grosser, how do you see this one going down, and, and, and who do you think? Um. I got to agree with you. It's going to go down like striking battle. Definitely going to be a striking battle. I feel like um, Arajo is going to be forced into shooting for the takedown, which she is good at, though. She does have good um, wrestling, good takedowns. Um, and good jiu-jitsu, remember? Black belt and jiu-jitsu, apparently, so, as well. So. Exactly. So um, she will be forced to go that way. And um, if it does, I reckon she will um, give, give Grasso some danger. I'll definitely give her some danger put her in um some dangerous spots but I think Grasso she I like how she fights she's a steady fighter very technical you know she's accurate um she she knows how to control her space and her distance and um keep the, her opponent at 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 the space that she needs them to be and um and Arajo Arajo might not be able to handle handle that pressure because she she likes to come in the inside she likes to go she likes to keep the pressure on and step forward as as we see but um, but Grasso is good at keeping him at distance she's good at throwing the kicks and um I feel I feel like as you said late round two round three Araja will start getting tired and because it is a five round fight I do see her maybe getting finished in the fourth round if she if she even survives to the fourth round. But I feel like it's just going to be um, uh, a game plan for Grasso to to survive to the later rounds and then put on the pressure a bit more because she can hold it back if she has got it. So it's going to be a good fight. I'm going to lean towards Grasso. Finish, finish in the fourth round. I'm actually thinking of finish as well now, man, because of how 
Grasso was putting it on in Sparza in the last round of their fight. And because of the tiredness for Mirage, I think if Grasso can find that volume and accuracy in those rounds, I think, do think she can get a stoppage. Both going with Grasso here. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like, subscribe. Thank you for joining us.